I'm Steve Graves. I'm a professor of geography here at CSUN. One of the things I've researched on the side is the landscape of marijuana uh, retailing in Los Angeles. Through doing that, I have uh, developed a perhaps an elevated sense or knowledge of how the industry works in California. My research was on the marketing of um, marijuana at the dispensaries that are currently operating, or at least were operating a few years ago. My basic finding was that there were kind of four ways that it was marketed. One was um, it was marketed as a, um, a legitimate medicine, a corporate sort of clinic fashion in the, the buildings you couldn't tell them from a dentist office. Uh, the second type was as an all-natural herbal remedy, something like a health food store or something like that. It's all natural, man. The third type was um, it was a compassionate thing um, for people who were suffering and um, um, and those had uh, a variety of ways of marketing, but it was for uh, the relief of pain and suffering. The fourth way, uh, maybe I should say there was a fifth way. The fourth way was, this is a party, man, and it was, the buildings are uh, purple or vivid colors or psychedelic things. And the fifth way is what I call the bunker dispensaries, which were uh, those that just tried to stay out of sight and hidden. There's virtually no sign. You can't tell they're there except maybe a tiny little green cross. You kind of have to know they're there.